Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. On this week's episode of Creator Club, I wanted to share with you my top four tips for portrait photography for beginners. That's right, today is a photography episode of Creator Club. I know it's been a long time. I've been doing a lot of Premiere Pro stuff lately, but I think you guys seem to enjoy that. So if you're into more video stuff, then click the card above. This is a playlist for all of my Creator Club videos. You can go there and check out all my Premiere tutorials. Today I wanted to talk about portrait photography. Honestly, I really enjoy portrait photography. It's one of my favorite things to do. I am not really a nature photographer or a landscape photographer or anything like that. I do like flat lays though. I'll do those. But my absolute favorite thing is to take pictures of other people's faces. It's just so fun and people are so beautiful. And I think probably a lot of you out there are also interested in this kind of photography. So here are my top four tips for taking awesome portraits uh, when you're a beginner. Number one, closer is better. I think a mistake that a lot of beginners and non-photographers make when they're trying to take a photo is that they will be observing the scene, how they do as a person, and all they'll do is like pull up the camera and take a picture and like not at all worry about the distance of the framing or anything like that. Um, often what I see a lot of when people who like aren't photographers take pictures of people, uh, there's just a lot of extra background and a lot of extra space. And the thing to remember when you're taking portraits is the important thing is actually the person. You really don't need any background details or anything like that. So if you think that you might be too far away, or even if you don't think of that, just get closer. Get really close in to the face, the shoulders, neck area, and just capture that person because you really don't need a lot of other space around them. Number two, when you are thinking about creating your own camera kit, remember that lenses are more important than cameras. I really believe that particularly with photography, maybe not as much video, but particularly with photography, the lens is way more significant to the final product than your camera is. The majority of DSLRs, even the more beginner, like cheaper ones, take great photos. They're going to be high quality. There's going to be tons of pixels there. It's going to look great. But what makes the difference is having a really good lens. What I always recommend to beginners is the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. It's an amazing lens only about $150, which it might sound steep if you're new to this, but trust me, that is cheap for a camera lens. And you get a really beautiful, blurry background, crisp foreground. It's just, it's great. This is exactly what you want if you're taking pictures of people because it's gonna give you that professional portrait look that you want. People will see those pictures and be like, dang, you have a nice camera. And then you can say, no, I'm just a good photographer. Also, this lens is bomb. Number three, when you're taking pictures of people, try to stay comfortable and casual. Honestly, this is probably the biggest challenge to portrait photographers when you are taking pictures of just average people, like not models or whatever. It's hard. People feel awkward. They get in front of the camera and they don't know what to do. And so if you can be as laid back and chill and fun as possible, it'll make them feel more comfortable and you'll get way better shots that way. Number four, this one is my absolute secret weapon. It does kind of require that whole lens thing I talked about earlier, and that is having a low aperture. So if you're not familiar with the term aperture, make sure you go check out my videography terms. It explains it. It applies to both videography and photography, uh, but basically aperture is going to determine how uh, blurry your background is in a kind of roundabout way. It's called depth of field. You want to have a shallow depth of field so that just your subject is in focus and you've got that really professional blurry background. What you need for this is a lens that has a low aperture. The Canon 50mm 1.8 is perfect for this because the kit lens that came with your camera is probably only around a 4.5 aperture, which is just not low enough to really get that blurry background. If you're somebody who's used to shooting on auto, what I would recommend is changing to the AV setting. That's aperture priority. That means you can set your aperture to say 1.8, basically throw it down as low as it can go. And your other settings will compensate for the lighting conditions to make it like a correctly exposed photo. Uh, this will give you a really nice blurry background and you won't have to worry about the rest of your settings. But if you are trying to learn manual, 
pop it in a manual, put your aperture as low as possible, and then I like to uh, keep a higher shutter speed because I don't want a ton of blur, but it depends on your style, and then just adjust your ISO based on the, the surroundings. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Those are my top four tips for portrait photography. If you're interested, you should definitely check out my Instagram. It is at Katie Steckley. I love posting my photography there, so uh, I think you might like it. You should check it out. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more photography videos from me, also comment below uh, if you have any questions about what I talked about or any suggestions for future videos. And of course, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future Creator Club episodes or daily vlogs. I make videos every Monday through Friday. All right, as always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.